Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. To add headers and footers to PDF files, expand the Pages panel within the Tools pane. Next, in the Edit Page Design section, click the Header and Footer button and then choose the Add Header and Footer command from the drop-down menu to open the Add Header and Footer dialog box. All text within the header and footer shares the same font formatting. You can use the buttons within the font section to choose the formatting to apply. You can select a font style from the font drop-down. You can set the size of the font by using the size drop-down. You can apply underlining to the font by clicking the underline button and you can click the font color box and then select a font color to apply from the drop-down menu. You can click the Appearance Options hyperlink under the font section to open the Appearance Options dialog box where you can set general appearance settings. You can check or uncheck the Shrink document to avoid overwriting the document's text and graphics and the Keep Position and Size of Header Footer Text Constant when printing on different page sizes checkboxes to enable or disable those two features. Then click the OK button in this dialog box to apply them. In the margins section, you can specify a value in inches for each margin by typing it into the top, bottom, left, and right spinner boxes. In the middle of this dialog box are six text boxes labeled left header text, center header text, right header text, left footer text, center footer text, and right footer text. You can click into any one of these text fields and enter text for your header or footer into the respective section. As you type, you will see that the preview area of the dialog box changes to reflect your entries. You can set page numbering and date options by clicking the page number and date format hyperlink below the text boxes to open the page number and date format dialog box. Use the date format drop down to select your preferred date display format. You can use the page number format drop down to select your preferred page numbering display format. You can select the starting page number from the Start Page Number Spinner box. Then click the OK button to apply your formatting choices. To insert page numbering or the date into the header or footer, click into the desired text box of the section where you want that information to appear. Place the insertion point at the location within the text box where you want to insert the information and then click either the Insert Page Number button or the Insert Date button to insert a page number field or a date field of the format selected in the Page Number and Date Format dialog box into the selected location. You can click the up and down spinner arrows on the Preview Page Spinner box in the Preview section of the dialog box to see how the header and footer will look on each page of the PDF. Headers and footers will be applied to all of the pages in a document. To only display a header or footer on one page or a range of pages in the document, click the Page Range Options hyperlink to open the Page Range Options dialog box where you can specify which pages should show the headers and footers. After making your selections, click the OK button to close the dialog box and apply your choices. To save your current header and footer settings so you can apply them to other PDF documents in the future by simply choosing the name of the saved settings from the Saved Settings drop-down at the top of the dialog box, click the Save Settings button at the top of the Add Header and Footer dialog box. In the Save Settings dialog box, type a name for the saved settings and then click the OK button.
After creating the current header and footer settings, click the OK button to apply the header and footer. To update an existing header or footer, click the header and footer button in the edit page design section in the pages panel and then select the update command from the drop down menu to launch the update header and footer dialog box which is the same as the add header and footer dialog box. You can then make any changes to the settings that are shown here that you want and then click the OK button to apply them. To remove a header and footer Click the header and footer button that appears in the edit page design section in the pages panel and then select the remove command from the drop down menu. Then click the yes button in the pop up message box that asks you to confirm your choice to remove the header and footer from the PDF. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.